you don't like it, don't do it. Maybe <laughs> you're, it's something you're gonna, not going to be wealthy at. You got to like it. <laughs> of course, my grandfather Thomas was, came over here in 1870. He was a horseman too, mm -hmm. raised horses. Well, I was born here and <laughs> grew up <laughs> doing all ranch work, riding and driving horses. It was in the horse age then, and <laughs> do all the farming with horses. So I was able to drive a lot of teams on farm equipment. And this is what I enjoyed doing. But I have a bucket of oats. That, that, that brings them all. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. There you go. Well, I went from from horses to power equipment. There's a change during my lifetime. Unmanned flying vehicles or 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 something that's gonna you bet will be <laughs> very technical and and probably useful. And now they're trying to manufacture beef in the laboratory. One of the worst excuses you can get is, I've always done it that way. You've got to change with it. It's everywhere. The farming acres is decreasing under developments in concrete. And of course, the main majority of the people Today that raise up on a ranch don't like it. They're head to town. Any more people are not interested in ranch work. I just like the life. Whatever we did, I enjoy it. <laughs> Hard labor or whatever. Some people, if you get Bucked off a horse, they don't want any more horses. Of course, a horseman, you just get back on and get going again, <laughs> if you like it. 